and uh, welcome back. This is part two of level two. So, uh, what is the the significance of the black smoke? Um, black smoke. Well, in the last part, there's um, we uh, we had to blow up buildings that were made of black smoke. Well, I get that because they're making drugs or something. Oh, I see. That's what I, was I, I, I guess these are making drugs too, but we don't actually see anything that's making drugs in here. Huh. So I think it's just more of a mechanic for us to uh, see blow up these boats. Maybe these are steamboats powered by drugs. Perhaps. <laughs> so, if you destroy an entire town in the last part, and you're destroying a bunch of boats in this part, <laughs> how, exactly how much money and damage are you going to do for this one? Jesus. I, uh, we'll see. I, I, I'm pretty excited to see the, uh, the, the, the tally. <laughs> yeah, right. That's really lucky that you managed to sink that bow without even affecting the dock directly next to it at all. Yeah, right. That's that's what we call controlled destruction. I like seeing all these railings light up. You, uh, you, can, yeah. you can run on all of these. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Whenever something lights up like that, it generally means yeah, you can you can do stuff with it. Do a run through. We don't ever touch the ground. <laughs> the floor is lava. <laughs> Let's play stranglehold. The floor is lava. Run. I think it would be it'd be it'd be pretty cool if there was like a ticking time thing. I, I think it makes sense that it doesn't blow up until you're off it, considering I mean there there's uh it's not like remote charges are up. Did you see those buckets and stuff right in the water? Out near the shipping hangar. I'll send a water taxi for you. We now have two enemy vessels to send. Do you think they put up all these zip lines? Yeah. That must hurt his hands though. <laughs> it's the amazing transforming shotgun assault rifle. Is there a, a weapon, like a number of weapons you can carry? A bit? Yeah, you can only carry two. Uh. Uh, title. Uh, well, it's, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's not like there's like, different weapons or like all that different. Right. Personally, I'd be okay with having only one weapon. Does he even use anything besides pistols in the movie? Yeah, he uses a shotgun. He blows up motorcycles with a shotgun. Oh, that's right. You know this is Lee. Tequila. We need paramedics and uniforms out at the Fatilla now. Did someone promote you to captain? I said I wanted you back at HQ. Make the call. Fire me later. I've got a boat to board and search. What boat? What are you doing? Got the lead on Jimmy Wong. And I want to know if he is behind this wall. I told you to stay the hell away from this investigation. If you don't you start listening up. to me, to get out. later. Why does he keep picking up the phone if he's not, he's not going to listen? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he used that, um... It's the oldest trick in the book. That horn thing to uh, kind of... So he's... I mean, for, for all the, the, the damage he's caused, I'm surprised he's concerned about getting paramedics here. I, has he even left anyone in a repairable state? I don't know. Oh, turret. Oh, it's not a turret. No. Also, I mentioned that earlier. The, that's um, right, the heavy machine gun. 
Yeah, the uh, I mentioned that last uh, last time yeah. the H and G, and we're gonna show it off a little bit. The H and G is the most powerful. <laughs> It's the most powerful weapon in the game, but it's pretty inaccurate. It's a one so you basically want to do it. It's good for blowing up cars. Are there any explosive weapons in this game? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. You drew a barrage for them. Yes. Really? Yes. That's, that's beautiful. You'll have to show us that. Okay, I will. It's pretty late. Can you get into a standoff with them? <laughs> <laughs> no, you only get into standoffs with pistols. That's too bad. That'd be amazing, though. The single boat left afloat in the entire village. No, see, they, they're the ones in the back. Oh. He just blew up the, the rafts and, uh, and all the woodwork stuff, not the boats. Nobody's gonna come out of that door. Mr. Wong wants to talk to you. Then let's go see him. Isn't that Jerry from the police department? Yep. This is the uh, the best delivered line. In the game. You are big enough to help a street. <laughs> That's beautiful. The name is Da Pong. Sid. We got bad history. I know. Then why are you trying to kill me? If I wanted you dead, you already would be. Today, I need your help. <laughs> Here's a look I haven't seen on your face a lot. Confusion. Let me clear it up for you. The Golden Cane put out the hit on your cop, not Dragonclaw. They made it look like me by leaving my I-9 crew's signature. Ah, I guess all is forgiven. Don't be a smartass. I ain't looking for a hug from no cop. Are you gonna listen or mouth off? I'll smoke. You talk. Young Gee's Golden Cane partnered up with a Russian crew out of Chicago. Damon Zakharov and his boys. They want Hong Kong. My territory. Take them out. You got the muscle. Yes, I got the guns and muscle. But the Zakharovs have... them. Describe what will happen if so believing Tico. After you, Zakharov took him from the house in Chicago two weeks ago. How come you haven't sent anyone to chop him into pieces and bring Billy and Tico home? If I send a crew out of Hong Kong, red flags go up all over. The FBI would be waiting at the airport. And Zakharov made it real clear that if I move against Golden Cane, Billy and Tico die. So I've got to send someone good, someone clean, someone the cops won't watch, and someone who cares enough about the outcome to die getting it done. It's gotta be you. You are the one who took them away from me. I never even held Tico in my arms, and I haven't heard from Billy since. Eighteen years. Not a phone call, not a postcard. I told her not to. She was afraid of me then. By the time we made up, she was afraid you wouldn't forgive her. Know how many times I thought of killing you? <laughs> Probably lots. And you've got the guts to ask me to bring them back for you? How do you live with yourself? I'm used to me. Take that as a yes. 
I can't be caught mixed up in this. Don't let them take the hangar. Guess we're partners again. Didn't know you were deep cover in Dragon Call. There's lots you don't know. Right now, we've got to blow this place to hell. Did you find a C4? I don't think Wong will lie that. Either we turn it into matchsticks, or Golden Kane takes off with a thousand kilos of heroin. I got the spots marked inside where you need to place the charges. Oh, good to know you are still on our side. Once a partner, always a partner, right? Get it done, and a police boat will pick you up at the dock. So yeah, the second part of this uh, of this level is pretty cutscene heavy. So Jerry already went through here and placed transparent glowing C4 shapes on all these pillars? Uh, yeah. For us to plant. But not for him to plant. Well, it's a good thing nobody noticed all those those big glowing things with the circles coming out of them. Yeah. Very good thing. Maybe they just thought they were decoration. I guess. Why did he hide them behind there? I, I don't understand this at all. Yeah, this entire level just feels off. When Akil, when Akil is not back flipping off of, uh, or doing whatever the hell he was doing right there. Can you not jump in this game? Uh, no, you do that dive thing. Oh. I guess he can't do anything simply. Well, no, he's tequila. He has to... Right. It's all about the, the bombastic. <laughs> Somehow that just yeah, seems unnecessary. Have, we gotta have a physics, physics puzzle puzzles. in there, because, you know, Half-Life 2 is a thing. <laughs> so, uh, it gives you your enemy count at the end, but, uh, it seems like you kill all the enemies. You don't have to kill every enemy. Okay, you don't have to. But it seems like... Why wouldn't you? It, was, it seems like it would be pretty hard not to. Well, there, there's some cases where you can, like, uh, if the game gives you the opportunity, you can just run ahead. Is this like, maybe, maybe it's like Doom, where there's somewhere there's just a hidden panel on a wall and you open it up and a bunch of, a bunch of Hong Kong gangsters come out of it. <laughs> Tequila running up against the wall. Uh, 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 uh. Where is it? Destruction and twisted metal is all from you before with the bombs, or is this no? Is this, this is naturally like this. That's how they build like it. this. Like oh that. yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> the these um these uh, triads have an uh, unusual sense of aesthetic. So maybe it's an organized crime thing. I think it, it's kind of like one of those um, level design tropes, like, you know, an FPS always has to have wooden crates. So, it, this is, you know, this is a third person shooter, we gotta have, um, twisted metal. Or something, I don't know. I'm not familiar with that, uh... That particular trope of level design. What, crates in FPS games? Uh, destroyed docks with twisted metal in third person shooters. Oh. Um. Well, to, well, um, Stranglehold was a trendsetter in that department. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, I, I take it that's a trend that didn't really take off. No. No. So it's not a trope at all. I, I just pulled that out of my head. Those, those big red sniper lions, though. I see those a lot. Yeah. More than I'd like. <clears throat> I, I really think that snipers should, should stop <laughs> getting those special, uh, special lasers that point exactly where they are. Yeah, right. Well, that was hardly necessary. They were already dead. Hey, yeah, by the way, you, you're not supposed to go back over there. You're just, just let you know. Ah! This is also okay. is, is another part of the level that's just really terribly designed. There what is, is, uh... 
you, you have to, there's a bridge right there, and you have to shoot it down by destroying those yellow wooden panels. Okay. And there, there's also, a, like, a bomb or something that can, or, like, a, one of those explosive barrels that you have to shoot up to blow, oh, to blow I up. See. And it's just really confusing. And uh, the first time I played through this, I actually, like, spent, like, five minutes sitting here. I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I kind of did that here, too. I was like, wait, what am I doing? And I found out oh, there's, a, there's an explosive barrel right there I gotta shoot. And there we go. that down. I didn't even see the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Why was that hook glowing? That's another problem that I have, is I... Generally, the game establishes that if something is glinting like that, it means shoot at it. So the first time I played through this, I actually shot at it, because I thought it would do something, but it didn't do anything. Oh. I also went through this area, and I, I went through an area that we, we were just at, like, two minutes ago. I was like, wait, why am I back here? I just made a mistake. In this case, I think the hook was just polished. Yeah. That one one particular spot yeah. on it is really well shined. And, that, and that's another problem with this, too, is that that hook was polished. Oh, oh no, there is a, uh, a mine we had to place back there, too, so we had to go back over there. He got there fast. You did not look happy. <laughs> you just blew up an entire shanty tent. I told you to stay out of it. And I told you I need a backup. I just learned Jerry's been undercover with Dragon Claw. That means you have to know about Billy and Tico and didn't bother to tell me. I was doing you a favor. I knew if you got involved, things might just... What? And like this. Keep it. I'll be further out of bounds before this is finished. some deal, and the I-9s are about to crash the party. Seems they're pissed off about having our dead cop pinned on them. They're looking for payback. I need Young alive. Wong can use him with the Russians to get Billy and Tiggle back. Meet me at the maker. day past uh, this point in time. This is, uh... Billy. You must be back before hard-boiled. Yeah. I'll fade to be seen with a cop. Oh, if we're, if we're assuming that uh, hard-boiled took place 15 years before Stranglehold. Which is a reasonable assumption. Yeah. No. Of my father seeing us together. He warned us once. Are you sorry you fell in love with me? Never, but I'm frightened. It's not just the two of us anymore. What are you saying? We're going to have a child. We are? That's great. No. It's terrible. If my father finds out, he'll kill us all. Even Jimmy Wong wouldn't kill his own gun child. You don't know him the way I do. Then come away with me. He'll find us. No, he won't. We'll go far away. America, Europe, the back end of the world. I don't care. When? Tonight. Meet me at the airport. I'll take care of everything. Yes. That's all? 13 million. 13 million. It's only like a million more than last time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try harder. You did, you did, I guess you, it was just a shanty town. It's you not did, like that's true. It's yeah. not well, like it was boats, Manhattan. Boats are not cheap. So though. far, we destroyed about twenty-six million dollars worth of stuff. Great. You've ended five hundred five hundred and eleven lives. Yes, in the space of about eighteen hours. <laughs> hard, Damn. Hard call cops are hardcore. Yeah. So um, join us next time for uh, level three. <laughs>